Article 97 mm. outlines how a member of parliament can lose his seat. That's the constitution, by the way. Seat. That's okay. the, the constitution, 97, okay. Article 97. So it talks about a member of parliament shall vacate his seat in parliament A upon dissolution of parliament. So mm. when parliament is dissolved, you, have, you are no longer a member of parliament. Mm. If you are elected speaker of parliament, you are no longer a member mm. of parliament. That's automatic. Mm -hmm. If he is absent without permission in writing of the speaker, and he is unable. Are you noticing the conditions there? Mm. The first ones, there are, are no conditions. Mm. Parliament dissolve, you go. Mm -hmm. Elected as speaker, you are no longer MP. Mm -hmm. Now, it tells you if he is absent, mm -hmm. it didn't stop there. That would have been automatic. Wait, 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 please. I wasn't interrupting you, OPK. I wasn't interrupting you. I wasn't interrupting you. But I wasn't interrupting you. Allow me to make my point. Please, please, please. I had so many questions you could have answered, but I didn't want to. So I'm coming. Please, allow me to make my point. I was just going to say, please, 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 the person is absent, comma, mm -hmm. and then it goes further. So, in the case of when parliament is dissolved, end of sentence. When elected speaker, end of sentence. Mm -hmm. When absent, comma, then it goes to say... But was she absent? I will answer that. Okay. Without the permission in writing of the speaker, that's the first condition. Mm -hmm. If you're absent without the permission of in writing, mm -hmm. that's the first condition. Second condition, you no. mean? Second, Second no, condition. no. First condition is absent. if you are absent. No, I'm saying that you see, I'm talking about the the automaticity, the automaticity okay. of the articles. Okay. When Parliament is dissolved, it's automatic. Mm -hmm. When uh, you are elected Speaker, it's automatic. It's automatic. Yes. But when you are absent, mm -hmm. it's not automatic mm -hmm. because the first condition to meet when you are absent is. Is your absence with the writing of the speaker, of the speaker. or not? Okay. Yeah. That's first condition okay. number one. Carry on. Second condition is, and he is unable to offer a reasonable explanation to a parliamentary committee on privileges. Mm -hmm. That's second. Now, even in that, the determination of reasonableness mm -hmm. is subjective. But you are supposed to appear, that's the second condition. You are, you are, if, you are, if you appear before a committee and you are not able to give a reasonable okay. explanation. Mm -hmm. Condition number two. Okay. Do you understand? So don't tell me it's automatic because in C, it's not automatic. You are given all the conditions and it goes on. Now let us find out how the privileges of the privileges committee, committee. works. Because it says that you have to appear before a privileges committee of mm -hmm. parliament. Now, how does the privileges committee work? Mm -hmm. The constitution itself tells us that parliament will set its own guidelines. Yeah. I mean, it will set out guidelines to guide its own practice. Yeah. Now, if you go to article, uh, if you go to uh, uh, order 164 mm -hmm. of our standing orders, that parliament, the constitution gives us the right to, 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 to use to guide our operations. 164, order mm -hmm. 1641 says, there shall be a committee of privileges which shall consist of the first deputy speaker as chairman and not more than 30 other members. That is composition. Okay. Two, it shall be the duty of the committee, shall be the duty, shall mm -hmm. be the duty of the committee by order of the house, by order of the house, the house orders them okay. to work, yes. to inquire into any complaint of contempt of parliament or breach of privilege or any matter of privilege which may be referred to it and to recommend to the House such action as the committee consider appropriate. And to recommend. And to recommend to the House. Is that, so, is that so, not what the Privileges no, Committee so did exactly, in its report? No, exactly. So what, what it tells you, what 164 tells you, that the decision of the committee is not automatic. No, but the decision of the committee, they, when they make a decision, they, 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 they communicate to the House, mm -hmm. that this is the decision we have made for the, the House to approve or reject. But you see, it, that is... That, With the word recommend. Yeah, it says so that... that's what you're, you're, you're standing on. But, but, recommend, but they only the, recommend... They recommend to, to the, the House. house. In the they are, they, they, don't, they, don't, they don't take the decision on behalf of the House. They recommend mm -hmm. to the House, mm -hmm. and the House takes the decision. That's what Article 164 says the Privileges Committee should do. Okay. Now, the uh, 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 97C tells you that the person must appear before the committee. And if the person fails to give a reasonable excuse, 
Do you get that? Yeah. So if you appear before the committee and the committee determines your reasons not to be reasonable, and remember, determination of reasonableness is subjective. It can come to the House and the House will say that your reasons are reasonable. Mm. Because the 164 says that the committee is not clothed with the authority to take a decision on behalf but of the House.